Just with uh, Sid and on behalf of the team, we want to recognize a special accomplishment of a thousand professional games. It's uh, it's quite something. Congratulations, Thank you, Thank you guys. I started working in professional hockey at uh, 19 years old, and uh, I just thought it was really cool to be part of this. And you know, 13 years later, I know how truly blessed I am to be here. So every day I wake up and uh, I love coming to work. Thank you for that. Congratulations. Really appreciate it. Thank you. What's going on? What are you holding the pencil for? Hey, I don't know why that's in my ear. Thanks for telling me, though. Yeah, I need a haircut. I had to show it. I'm losing my hair. You can notice? What do you do about that? Wear a lot of hats. Oh! <laughs> nice! That was hot, Satsy. Taco Bell, 5'2", 172 pounds. Oh. Wow! Coming in hot. What a heavyweight. Yeah. Oh. Oh, nice! You can't teach that. The game of hockey provides many lessons. But while there are some things that can't be taught, there are others that can't be forgotten. Last season ended at the hands of the New York Rangers. It's a curriculum the Penguins don't want to repeat. Racing up the wing is Nash. Nash with a shot, he scores! Nash at 26 seconds. You got a bad bounce there first shift, and you got one of the best scorers in the league and Rick Nash coming down, and it kind of breaks your energy up a little bit right away. Tough bounce. Stick with it, boys, eh? I had a big can opener there. Can opener me pretty bad. Oh, almost yard sailed there. Yeah, I wasn't open there. I thought you were going to maybe toe drag them. In the middle? Yeah, but their D was with me too. You give it to me, I'm chipping it in. Yeah. Come on, Black, come on, Black. Get one of your feet. Shoot that. Yeah. Woo Play Out of way, Sid. Good job, boys. Need this kill here. It is thrown into the net. What a shot. Step on, let it go, and it is four to one. Rangers. We haven't had the best luck against them, but lots of time left in this year and just got to refine our game going into the playoffs. They're a tough team to come back against. And when we play them, we've got to make sure that we have a great start to the game. When we've had success against them, that's the type of way that we play them. They're a good team. We haven't fared well against our own division this year, but just got to stick with it and try to get better. The Penguins' next chance came in a place that demands they stick together. Raffle had a roll off his stick. Latang is hit hard over there. Penalty. And it was Ronaldo again as he came after Latang and hit him up high. Yeah, they're going after Ronaldo right now. Belmar, who wants to go now? Bobby Farnham, you take your shield off. Take your helmet <laughs> off, he's saying, yeah. Well, a couple of good left hands from Shen. Here we go. Sill and Raffle. Now Sill comes back with some left hands. Just went right after Rod Scuderi. I don't know when Scuderi's ever fought. It is crazy. One of those games you love to play in. Certainly uh, Philly and the uh, Pittsburgh rivalry is an intense one, as I witnessed firsthand in Philly. I liked our compete. It was a competitive game. Kunitz will take it. Crosby out here, too. Driving in down the right side. Kunitz shoots. He scores! Chris Kunitz with a short-handed goal. Kind of gave me the taste of what it would be like to play against them, and it's something I'm looking forward to do more of. Went to overtime. Unfortunately, we played the whole overtime shorthanded. We did a good job until the last five seconds. They got to bounce out in front. Straight centers for a check a shot. Rice made the save, and he's got the puck, and he's still able to freeze it. No, because in the net, the Flyers have scored. We talk about the Ranger game. We didn't play very well at the beginning of the game. The fire game, we had a great start. We just couldn't score. I was really happy with the way the guys hung in there. We got a point out of the game. We probably should have had two, but I like the quality. It's about how we're playing as much as it is about the score.
The pace of a hockey season can be grueling, so much so that minutes during a game are referred to as miles, and the Penguins had 60 left before the All-Star break. You're heading into the All-Star break, we're banged up, we had players out of our lineup, and we're playing Chicago. They're a dangerous team. If you don't play well defensively against them, you're going to be in trouble. They have top to bottom skill all over the lineup. Let's go boys, have a shift here. Rebound would not go for Bo Bennett. You're getting anything right here, punching to Christian, and then you're rotating out. Skate, skate, skate. Run by the shot, he scores! Saw it for Hosa, set up for Seabrook, then set up for Hosa, and it's shot, he scores! Marion Hosa! Stay with it, boys, stay with it! Right? Yeah, yeah. Before it happened, I heard, you go. Got a boy. Shoot it. I see he's going to get his first NHL goal. And he is smiling like a butcher dog. I'm not kidding. Oh, God. MJ. Hey, Captain, if you're bottle there. Are you going to bring this? Thanks, Pat. Yeah, throw a couple goals in there. Mike, Geez, you know, we're playing a great game here. We deserve better than this. We hung with it. We started to come back in the game, which gave us some life, some momentum. The shot by Harrington blocked down, and it's Graham that scores! Let's go, boys. Let's go. Five, it's good, it's feeding. Crosby and shot. Oh, and it wouldn't go! In the middle post, isn't it? I don't think so. Hey, Gachi! Oh wait, Flower. Bouillon blasted it back in and it's popped over the net by Crawford. Taken a lot by Perron. Oh, and he gets the Oh! Hosa there. Tipped aside by Kunitz. Worked for by Harrington. Hosa right around in front. Wide with the shot! Perron will take the first shot on Corey Crawford. One for one lifetime, Kane against Flurry. Let's see. Score! Thought we played pretty well, took him to a shootout. Going into the break, we, we hadn't been playing that great, and it was good to play the right way and try to end on that note. Penguins goaltender Mark Andre Flurry received another kind of note, one inviting him to the All Star game. The experience of playing in an All Star game is something you'll never forget. For Mark, that was a great opportunity. Are you by yourself or you got? Well, I got my wife and my kid. Yeah, me too. Hey, how are you, man? Nice to see you. 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 Nice to Our next selection from the Pittsburgh Penguins, we select Mark Andre Fleury. We know Mark's an all-star and in our eyes, we see it every day in practice and, and on the ice. It was good to see him get that recognition. He's a great guy and uh, his personality is probably awesome at a, an event like that. Fits my people, eh? Always well prepared. <laughs> There you go. Over here. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. You guys all from Pittsburgh? We are, yeah. Yeah, nice, awesome. <laughs> We're glad you came, Claire. All the fun. Glad you guys are here. Game. Every single night we have a chance to win with him back there. It's great to play with him. You know, the opportunity to, to be around that level of player in the league and play in that game is a credit to this season he's had so far. He came back just beaming. Good job. Good luck. Good luck. After a five-day hiatus, the Penguins reconvened in Pittsburgh to face a Jets team that had won five in a row. It was a physical game, it was a tough game, and they pushed as hard as any team's pushed us all year. They're a playoff-style team, just with their size and the way they play. They're getting pucks behind you, trying to wear you down. We didn't have Geno or Sid at the time, so we simplified the game and it ended up working out. To get a big win coming out of the break was big for us. Start to finish, we played an excellent game. And I was really encouraged and thought that was going to be a strong building block for us. We knew after the All-Star break we were going to have our hands full and I thought our guys responded well. 
After defeating the Jets, the Penguins flew to Washington for a game the next night. But one player didn't make the trip. Marcel Gotch had been traded to St. Louis for Max Lapierre. We've talked about this for a couple of weeks, and uh, it was one that was that had a chance to come together right after the break. And just like that, life for an NHL family changed in an instant. I just uh, I was having the dinner with my wife and daughter at a home in St. Louis, and I missed the calls because I was taking care of the little one. And, uh, I knew right away it was the general manager. They normally don't call just to say, how, how are you doing? So I told her, I said, we're traded for sure. It was a, a big change really fast. Well, those things happen pretty quick and as a coach or as a player. It's always difficult when you lose a teammate. Or from what I've seen in him so far, Lappy, he can kill penalties. He plays with energy, he has size, he has physical play. He's been a good fit with our team uh, so far. He signed in St. Louis a couple of summers ago and I uh, called him to welcome him to the team and I, I think, uh, I want to say a couple of days after I got traded to Edmonton and it didn't work out that time so I guess we were meant to be uh, to be playing together. Hey, what do they call you? Happy. Happy. Hey. Normally it takes about two or three days and you, you feel part of the group. Every team is pretty much the same thing. It's, uh, we're just a bunch of clowns having fun and uh, playing hockey. <laughs> I think it's just try to work 110% every presence on the ice and try to be physical, uh, uh, play a playoff type of hockey, you know, like win some face-off, block some shots. It always takes a while for a team with new players to gel. Luckily for the Penguins, the playoffs were still three months away. We weren't very good. They got ahead of us and uh, they're a tough team to come back on. We weren't happy with that game. We need to play better against Washington. After being derailed in Washington, a 200-mile trek to New Jersey was next. The Penguins switched gears and took the scenic route. First time I've ever done that, I think it was pretty cool. We don't really have anything to complain in this league. Yeah, the travel is, is really nice with the plane. It was kind of a similar setup, but just on a train. Kind of made it really nice for first experience. That was my first train ride actually. It was good, I just had started Breaking Bad like a couple weeks before that, so watched like four or five episodes and uh, I was there before you knew it. It was different, it's nice, it's part of a new experience and uh, I actually like, loved it, it's, uh, it's great, just relax and uh, I'm a little scared of flying so I guess being in the train uh, was, was better for me. I thought it was one of our best games uh, since I've been here. Well, I think it was good. I mean, we, we showed that we can come back in games and just stick with the game plan. And uh, obviously, it was it was great to have the first win out of the way. As a new player, you don't want to be that guy that comes in and will start losing. Well, the Jersey game for us was a good rebound game. I thought that night we really controlled the game from, from start to finish. We controlled the puck. We controlled the scoring chance. We controlled the game. And we knew that if we kept playing that same way, we had an opportunity to get the tying goal and then push it into overtime like we did. Mike was telling us throughout that game to stick with the plan and, and, and we did that, we found a way. Despite ending on a high note, finding ways to win didn't come easy in January. So the turn of the calendar was a welcome sight in Pittsburgh. And although February didn't get off to a great start, he provided the Penguins with something desirable a week-long road trip to Western Canada. That Western swing is always a pretty cool trip for the guys coming in and playing in Canada. I think that's the best way to start in a new team. You have to start uh, on the road. You get to go to dinner with the boys and get to know them. Those are things you cannot really do at home. December, January, we were just going on one-night trips and leaving right after the game. And it's kind of tough when you're doing that, you're not really around the guys. We had a lot of home games uh, early on when I got here and it's going to be nice to keep getting to know the group. This next month will uh, really show what kind of team we are. Don't want to puck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Selfish. I feel like this is pretty quiet over here. Woo -woo -woo. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah! Woo! <laughs> yeah, mule! Yeah! <laughs> you got it right there. Eat that. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm good. What? I got a cramp. What did he say? I never know what he's saying. I'm hungry. I'm tired. I didn't think I was making a. Did I make it funny then? Takes discipline. Press line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That didn't work. Fan, fan on it, big time. What? I fanned on it, big time. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't fall over. Heads up. Oh, cat like. Cat like reflexes, Billy. <laughs> My five ball, man. <laughs> Classic. Yeah! Let's go! Yes! Yeah! Dominated. While long road trips form solidarity, there's nothing that brings players together quite like winning and the Penguins were hoping to get back on track in Edmonton. I really had fun playing against the guys and it's still pretty fresh on my memory but I guess we all know the business. We turned the page pretty quickly and as you saw with the game there's always a little bit of agitating going on. Take him, take him! Hendricks is hit by Dupre. No. We got something going on here. We're on. Hendricks. I think Dupre got him pretty good there and hit him hard and Hendel's got a lot of pride. He got up and probably wanted to hit whoever he was going to see next and it ended up being me. Keep it going boards, wheel! Great play there. Yeah. If I can keep him on my back and just yeah. bring a couple guys in and then move it. Save. Boy, boy, boy. Come on, Marty. Rink wide for Latang. Three seconds to go. Make that Perron to Crosby. Back to Latang a drive. Score! Perron went to the net. I don't know if it's a goal or not. That is a goal. That's a goal. Pittsburgh Penguins in game number two of a three-game road swing. On Wednesday night, the Penguins had a shutout for Marc-Andre Fleury, his seventh of this year, 35th in his career. And now Juris a little shot at a great save by Fleury with the right pad on Josh Juris. I think he's obviously one of the best goalies in the league. He's proved that throughout his whole career. He's got 300 wins and one of the youngest goalies to do that. Oh, Fleury diving out, makes an unbelievable save. Beavery. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. There's a 2 11 in progress. And Marc Andre Fleury has posted back to back shutouts the first two games of this road trip. And the franchise record does belong to the young two niner, Marc Andre Fleury. Marc Andre Fleury's eighth shutout of the season set a new Penguins record. And 24 hours later, Pittsburgh was going for a perfect record in Western Canada. It's a hockey night in Pittsburgh. Tonight from the Rogers Arena in Vancouver, British Columbia, the National Hockey League presents the Pittsburgh Penguins and the Vancouver Canucks. Hello again, everybody. This is Mike Lang along with Phil Bork as the Pittsburgh Penguins roll into town here in Vancouver, trying to make it a clean sweep on this road trip. The Penguins have won the first two, shutting out both the Edmonton Oilers, and last night, blanking the Calgary Flames, four to nothing. This is back-to-back -back nights for the Penguins. Three games in four nights. They'll be all man on deck, because you know Vancouver's, they're gonna be hungry for a win. 
Getting the bug in deep. Hansen goes after it. All the way behind the Penguins net. Centers it out. A quick shot by Benino. Stopped by Grice. A rebound. He gets another one. And he stopped that too. This might be a game where your third liners are in fourth. Going to have to be a part of it. Hobart to Dorset. And now back to Hobart. And he scores. Cole Horvath gets the goal. And it's 2 nothing Vancouver. Skating down the left wing and the Canucks in. Goes to center, sets up a man, and Pooley had a shot off the body, but he threw across the goal line and was a net off the Maurice. Because the original shot by Pouliot hits the pipe, hits Miller, and then it's going back into the goal. And as it's sliding across the goal line, Stanton dives back, knocks the net off. Sutter comes in, knocks the puck into the net. This is going to be really close. Wow, I don't know how you can put them together, though. The puck obviously goes over the goal line. It goes over the goal line, there's no doubt about that. But at the same time, the net is being pushed off its mooring. And everything's happening almost in perfect sequence. Here we go. Upon further video review, the play is inconclusive. Therefore, the call on the ice stands. The net was off before the puck crossed the line. No goal. Funny game, this hockey. A little out of sync right now. Up now on the left winger is Matthias. He's in the big was in under 2 one one Matthias shoots, scores! Matthias beating Grice on the stick-hand side. It's all over. Certainly we didn't have the jump we needed and the energy we needed, but when you're in another team's building and uh, they put on a push like that and they get the energy, we just got behind the eight ball and uh, took our legs away. Thanks. Thank you. We've been known to be streaky in the past and that's where we need to get some consistency. Our game has to continue to evolve to make sure that we're at a point where we know that we're playing playoff like hockey. And then we start to add to that. Coach, he's really patient, he's really smart with every assessment that he makes and the confidence that the group has. There's no panic at any time in the game. That's just the mentality we have to stick with, really, and I think this group will be just fine. I remember my first year we didn't lose a game in March, and that's kind of what your goal is, is you just want to go long stretches without having any lulls. Every team goes through that during the season. They have a rough stretch, losing a few games, and as long as you get out of it learning and just get better from there, it's a good thing. Can someone tell this guy to get the camera off me? Okay. Follow me around everywhere. Where is he? Right to your left. My right. Your left. My left. Your right. <laughs> I wrote it on the board. 38 mic'd up. Oh, I'm on the mic! <laughs> yeah, there you go. Bags is all over me. He knows. Yeah. Oh, it was on the camera. <laughs> six. <laughs> I'm just playing around. Make sure we have all the proper edits. <laughs> <laughs>